All right, this video is gonna be covering three important topics. The first of which is money management. Uh, I've talked about it in the past, but I'm gonna give you real live data on how important it is and giving you comparisons and examples of how to make that work um, for your benefit. And then of course, this is all part of the algorithm that we've been talking about for the last couple months. Um, and I'm gonna give you some updates on that and its release. And then the third thing that I'm gonna talk about is patience. So important. Okay, so money management. I'm gonna show you a screenshot, a little bit of the work that we're doing with the algorithm. This is not performing, this is not a, uh, an algorithm that's performing super well, uh, but the reason I'm bringing it up, the reason why I'm showing you is because I want you to see how money management can save your butt on a, an algorithm or a setup, a trade strategy that doesn't, it's not the best, it's, it's okay. This is based on the dumb trading strategy um, just plugging in the parameters into our algorithm and uh, seeing it uh, and seeing how it performs. So we've got, you know, some, you know, can see here, this is a, is a long trend here that got missed. And then when it did grab, it lost, right? So we've got a win rate of only 49% on this. Uh, this is from May 1st to today. 49% win rate out of 131 trades. So it's a pretty good average. Uh, we're not going to have too much, uh, uh, deviation on that. Um, so it's a good representation of what this strategy can do. Um, this is just back test data. And so, but the, the reason why this is important is because that win rate is less than 50%. I like to see, I like to see 57% as kind of like my benchmark. This is what I'm shooting for. This strategy with this algorithm only got us 49%, but the money management allows us to double the account in a period of what is that two, two and a half months, three months, so uh, May 1st, May, June, July. So three months, doubled the account. Money management, folks. Now, I'm gonna show you a sneak peek here, scrolling into the algorithm. You can actually change your money management strategies here. You can even say how much your spread is with your broker. That's pretty cool. So for instance, this is a 15 minute chart, I think, yeah. So what you could do is you could say, well, my money management is different than this because my spread is less. Maybe your spread is only one, right? And maybe you're paying commission, right? So then you'd say, yeah, I'm paying, you know, maybe $3.50. What does that do to the numbers? We go from 221, probably probably was down. Yeah, two, 201. Usually if you're paying commission, your spread would diminish by a little bit more. Let's go half of that. So now we're down half of the spread with $3.50 commission. Yeah, so you go up, right? So you can make adjustments like that within here. It figures it out for you. Now the broker that I use is this, so that's my numbers. Now the other thing is that, remember in my dumb trading strategy, I talk about taking 50% of your trade at take profit one and then using a trailing stop to catch the rest of it. So you can actually change your strategy depending on whether or not it works. Okay, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't, but that's the beauty of using this backtesting tool that is built into the back end of the algorithm. You can quickly test out how much trade, how much of the trade should I close at take profit one and how much of it should I let run with the trailing stop. And you can see the diagram of how that looks. So here's the entry point, there's our stop loss and the stop loss jumps up as the trade goes on. This white line here, that's the take profit one. So when it reaches take profit one, we're gonna close 50% of the trade. And then the other 50% of that trade is gonna continue on. That gives us a 221% increase in the account over three months. So now let's go ahead and change this. What happens if we say, you know what, let's, let's get this, the, the trade to, that follows, the one that continues onward, let's make that bigger. So we close 40% of the trade and let it run. What does that do to the account balance? It brings it down a little bit. Still pretty good numbers, but that brings it down. So I don't wanna actually bring it down. I'd rather go up. Let's go to 60%. What happens then? 60% of the trade gets closed. So I'm going up now. So let's go to 70, 70%. 70% of the trade gets closed at take profit one. We're still climbing up. Let's try 80%. 
sometimes it's 100. Sometimes when you put in 100, you actually make more money than if you do the trailing stop. So that's why it's, so, uh, did that go up? Yeah, that went up. Yeah, so 80 is better. Let's try 90, see what happens with 90. 90% 90 of the trade gets closed at take profit one. This is now 346. So 100, what if it's 100? Does it go up again? 346.92. Nope, so now it goes back down again. So let's try 95%. 95% of the trade gets closed at take profit one. See, this is why money management is so important. You can, oh, that's amazing. So 95, 90 was, 90 was less, right? Yeah, so 90, let's just go up. 91%, whoop, no, 91. Three fifty was 95 was better, right? Yeah, so 95, let's try 94, see if that's better. 366, 362, okay, so let's try 96, 96%. 96 369, try 97%. Again, this is for this chart, this doesn't always happen this way. Look at that, I'm squeezing more out of that trade, 98. Might even be 99. Look at that. Amazing. So yeah, we can take out 90%. I'm just gonna go 95. That's close enough. And that is really nice. That is a nice, increase to the balance, isn't it? It's got 1.09% expected value per trade across 131 trades. That's what gives us that great number. Um, fantastic, profit factor of 1.6. So yeah, if you're spending a dollar, you're gonna get a dollar 60 back. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's talk about the algorithm. You got to see a little bit of here. Why have we not released this to the public yet? We've got two really big reasons. Number one, I really wanna focus on getting the school done. The school has got to be finished so that people know how to use this thing. Um, it, doesn't make us, it doesn't make any sense for us to release this to the public if people are gonna to have to spend you know, a month or two learning how to use it. So what we're doing is that we're not actually gonna, we're, we're not even gonna let people buy it right away. It's going to be something that you get to use after we teach you how to use it. Um, that's, yeah, so that's number one reason why we haven't released it yet. But the second reason is we're also noticing that there's, of course, discrepancies between brokers. They all have their different feeds. I mean, I can take this chart here and it's on the pound US dollar. Watch what happens when I change to the OANDA because right now it's on FXCM. I change to OANDA, it changes the numbers. They don't report the price accurately, okay? Plain and simple. So you wanna make sure that whatever indicators you're using and the trading system that you then uh, uh, that execute with, that they are as close as possible together. This is why a lot of people, they like to use MT4 or MT5 directly with their broker because it gives their, their indicators a more accurate reading and they can make decisions a lot better and the prof more profitable because they're, they're, there's no discrepancy in the price between what's being reported on TradingView and where they're, where, where, they're, where they're trading from, the broker that they're using. So we haven't released this to the public simply because we wanna make sure that if you are getting it, that you can put it on whatever chart you're using with your broker, okay? So that is, that's why, that's why. But that being said, is still a fantastic backtesting tool. And uh, you know, we, we, uh, we've got clients that are using FXCM, so that's why it works for us right now in the, in the condition that it's in. Um, but that's, uh, that's to give you an update. We have fast-tracked our development for MT4 and MT5, so we'll see that uh, probably in the next, I'd say probably within the next few weeks. Um, we're, we're blazing, we're, we're moving very, very quickly on that, and I'm very, very grateful for the work that's happening there. Okay, so that is that. What's the next thing that I wanna talk about? Oh yeah, patience. We had a new member of the trading community that came on board and he wanted to trade a specific stock I'd never looked at before, I never saw the chart in my life. 
and we plugged we, we plugged the algorithm into it and we're working on making a strategy for him on that particular chart. Now, the problem was that we spent an hour and we weren't even finding something that was profitable. I think it took us like an hour before we saw something that was at where we increased the balance to 105%. Like that was so, and I was thinking to myself as the call was going on, I was like, this guy's gonna think I'm crazy, that this doesn't even work because we can't even get this thing to work on this simple chart that had you know, good progressive growth throughout the year, um, from the beginning of the year, 105%. When the actual chart itself, if you would have just bought on January 1st and sold today, it'd be like 25% growth. Um, you know, <laughs> but the algorithm just wasn't catching it. But we kept at it, we kept on, plugging away at it, finding the strategy that worked, and then plugging it into the algorithm. And once the algorithm, once we got it, then we were able to tweak those numbers and actually find the good setup. And we were able to get a 500% return on the back test from you know something that was only profiting, uh, only increased in value by about 25 to 20, 20, 25 to 30 percent or something like that since the beginning of the year because we were patient. We kept plugging away at it. It took us about an hour and a half. We finally got it. Now he's got a strategy that he can apply to that chart specifically and maximize his profits incredibly. So that's, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Those three things, money management, do it guys, do it, do it, do it, do it. And then the updates for the algorithm and of course patience because you're gonna need it. You're going to need it. If you don't have patience, you're going to be like me and you're going to lose a bunch of money early on in the game. And then you have to rebuild back from the ground up. And then that really tests your patience, let me tell you. So just apply the patience from the beginning. Save yourself that hassle of having to rebuild from the beginning, uh, from scratch. And yeah, that's it. Comment, like, all that good stuff. Talk to you later.